Okay, Bruce, the other day when I made you the KT King Tiger uh, functions test video, I forgot to show you how everything works on the radio. So I guess this will be the radio ops uh, video. So first thing to do, you have to, to turn it on, you have to press both these buttons simultaneously. And you will usually get this message because you forget to put all the switches where they're supposed to be. So you put all the switches to the upright position on the top here, and the radio will come on. Now, as you can see here, the battery indicators are showing that the radio is on, but your tank is not. So once you f turn the, the tank on, that little switch we showed you in the other video, now it's going to indicate to you the battery is on on the tank. Um, it'll never show full, even when the battery is fully charged. It's, it just shows the half, three quarters uh, charge on it. So uh, that's not to, nothing to worry about. So, okay, left stick is your turret, rotation, pull the stick left, put the stick right, and the turret rotates. Push it up, elevation, pull it down. And you can see it's a continuous cycle elevation. So you really, uh, no matter which way you put it, it just it'll continue to run. But you can make it go up, make it go down, make it go up, make it go down. Okay, so that's pretty easy for that one. Uh, this uh, spring-loaded wheels, there's one on each side of the radio. If you use the left one, that's basically your coax machine gun, which is nothing. On the right hand side, you have, um, this is tough to do with one hand, of course, filming. If you pull the other one down, that's going to be the hull machine gun. And if you push the spring switch all the way up, that's your main gun firing. So again, that's uh, the main gun firing. Now, um, for engine start, use this switch here, and of course this is going to cold start. And this switch that's beside it is nothing. There's, it doesn't run any functions on the tank. You want to turn on your lights while you're fooling around and bring this switch all the way down. Make sure this switch is all the way down and that will turn on your headlight. And your convoy light. Okay. Return those switch to the top. This switch, the Clark board has uh, a clutch system on it. So in order to engage the tank so it'll run, you actually push this all the way up, and you'll hear the clutch. I'm going to do it again, just so you can hear it clutch. Once that's done, once that's done, it runs, everything drives off the left stick, so forward. Oh, still don't have the clutch engaged. There we go. So the stick, push it forward, tank goes forward, pull it back, tank goes backwards. That's obviously pretty easy. Now, the King Tiger actually had the capability to do what we call a super spin, where one track goes forward and one goes back. So if you push your stick all the way over to the side and pull it down, it'll actually do that. And depending on how much stick you give it, if you just give it a little bit, it'll kind of crawl. Okay? And you can do it the opposite way as well. Now if you just want one track to go and the other one just to uh, uh, stay stationary, you pull, put the switch just part way over and put it forward or backward. 
And as you can see, that's the way it runs there. Okay. Of course, pulling the stick down is reverse, and you do the same functions down to do it in reverse. Now, just to mention that this uh, the smoker on this uh, tank is also proportional. So I'm going to actually disengage the clutch, which we bring it to the middle position and then push it forward again, here the clutch. All right, so now the tracks won't turn, but the engine will rev. I just wanted to point out that this is a proportional smoker. So if you give it throttle, you get more smoke. So that's basically everything on here. Um, the only other thing, there was one more thing. Oh, uh, voice commands. Okay, I'm going to turn the engine off so you can hear this. All right, so we did the voice commands the other day. If you put the light switch to the middle. Achtung! Achtung! Both spring wheels will give you different commands. Pull it down, and you get another set. <laughs> so, that's that. Just remember, when you're doing that, after you're done, to return this switch all the way to the top for all the rest of your functions. And that's basically about it. Now, the other thing I did want to show you was the failsafe. If you try to turn off your radio while your tank is still on, you're going to get this message. And that's basically a safety feature that, you know, so that the, the signal doesn't get cut off to the tank or the aircraft uh, or drone, uh, which these radios were originally designed for. So to, if you get that message and you just, you can turn your tank off with the small switch at the back, and you'll see this will shut down by itself. If the tank's off, it'll shut down with, uh, without any problems. And that's about it.